I want to get to a story that's developing right now out of Sterling Heights. A concert was canceled over the weekend, all after a mass shooting threat. Now, this was the message that was displayed outside of the Freedom Hill Amphitheater Sunday night after the concert forced uh, the promoters to have to shut down the whole event. Local Force Nick Monticelli joining us now with a look at how the McComb County Sheriff is now responding. Good afternoon. The gates here at Freedom Hill never really opened for the general public yesterday as the concert was canceled with not a whole lot of time left to go. I, I, I used to feel so devastated. Yeah. The headliners would have been Joey Bad Expletive and Flatbush Zombies, but yesterday morning, two different calls made by the same person threatening a mass shooting at the concert. One call went to the Palace of Auburn Hills, the other the front desk of the Sterling Heights Police Department. Despite the threat, the concert at Michigan Lottery Amphitheater was still a go, and the Macomb County Sheriff brought in more than 20 extra officers and undercover units. But one of the two acts decided it was safer to cancel the show completely. An investigation is now underway to trace those calls as detectives are getting closer to understanding what may have happened. And I'm leaning more towards that this may have just been a, a hoax type thing, but Again, I'm not ready to, to come on out and say this is exactly my, my investigators aren't going to stand forward and say step forward and, and say this was a you know was a hoax and just wanted to disrupt the concert. So we're still working on that aspect of it. And once this caller is caught, they're looking at a charge of threats of terrorism, which could put them in prison for more than 20 years. In Sterling Heights, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.